hello guys so in this particular video i am going to tell you about what all things which you have to do and which you don't have to do before your entrance exam what are the things you have to check and what how you have to prepare for your biology and your overall entrance exam so before cet the first important things which you all have to consider is go and check the center before the exam this is the important thing which you have to go one or two day prior to the center and check to avoid last minute tension you have to keep all the necessary documents which you will require during the examination hall and all your stuffs like your pouch your pens and the hall ticket etc and more specially keep used pens it is easy to mark or roll the answer with a used pen circle it then a new pen so it is necessary if you keep a used pen it will be benefit for you and you have to be confident enough to read the questions and mark it see if you are over confident and if you know the answer then also it will be difficult for you like there are some questions which of the following are not the following specific so most of the people do not read the not so whenever you read the questions you have to underline the not or other things the important keywords which question is trying to tell you this is how you can answer the questions if you don't even know the answer you have to just keep the things simplified and you should not sleep during the day time 2 to 3 days before the exam which will make you drowsy during the paper and if even you will know the answer you will feel a drowsiness a sense of giddiness and you won't be able to mark and you won't be fresh so try and maintain a sleep record during the night time and try and revise the schedule during the day time which will benefit you a lot and you will require a 7 to 8 hours of good sleep before the exam so you have to make a pattern 2 to 3 days before you should sleep 7 to 8 hours before the exam during the night time see this will make you fresh and help you during the exam so this is the overall cet things which you have to check so now we will talk about the exam pattern so the neat exam pattern it consists of total 90 questions for biology 45 for physics and 45 questions for chemistry so in total you have 3 hours that is 180 minutes so here the main focus for you all should be biology because it consists of maximum weightage that is it consists of 50% of weightage which will lead you the total marks for this is 720 marks and if a wrong question is attempted then there will be a minus 1 negative marking so of 720 the 50% marks is weightage for biology that is 360 marks and for physics and chem you have 180 marks each so here there is a great advantage for medical student as most of them has a biology as a strong and upper hand so maximum weightage is for this and it consists of most of the theory questions see 90 questions of biology all of them are not going to be tough questions from your 65 to 70 questions are will be see of this 65 to 70 will be medium level like 50 questions will be easy 
and 20 questions will be of medium level and here 20 questions will be of real tough questions which will make a difference from you and other kids so you have to focus you have to anyhow get this 70 right and here you have to put your main efforts so 90 of which 70 70 into 4 that is 7 for the 28 280 marks is in your hand in biology which anyhow if you will read the ncrt or your state textbook you will get see in biology total 70 percent of the content is from ncrt and the rest of the content is from extra synopsis which you have to read up in any of the entrance book they have mentioned so before each chapter there is synopsis and you have to mark all the points and remember so biology 90 questions are there so the time management is also a very important aspect so 90 questions of biology if you spend one minute for one question see total you have 9 9 180 questions and you have 180 minutes so for one minute you have each you have one question so one minute you can solve one question but for physics and chem there will be numericals so you have to focus more on the time on physics and chemistry see chemistry also 45 questions are there of which 30 questions will be of new theory part or the organic chemistry which will hardly require any time so only 15 questions will be numerical type so most of the numerical will be coming from physics so here is the part you have to give more time so biology as soon as you read the questions including the reading the questions reading the options keeping in mind whatever will be the answer you have to get the answer correct in 28 to 30 second each for each question see there are 90 questions if you will solve 90 questions by 30 second each then you will complete your biology in 45 minutes which is also enough time so 45 minutes of 90 will be remaining with you so you can give the 45 minutes on physics like 30 minutes to physics and 15 minutes to biology so solving each numericals in physics and chemistry we will get extra minute this will give an upper hand to you so till now we have talked about the overall preparation for entrance exam now we will focus on biology so biology contains around 38 to 40 chapters so before entering your entra entrance exam hall you have to read each chapter at least once word by word from your standard textbook which is your NCERT textbook from which the 70% of the questions are from NCERT book so you have to go through once at least once and if you want to score a willing good marks that is above 600 from 720 overall so you have to read or willing to get about 300 in biology from 360 you have to read the textbook at least 11 times or three times before the exam just three two to three days prior so this will benefit you because all the tricks and questions they frame from the state textbook itself so this is the main priority and rest 30 percent of the marks are coming from different level high level of questions so important is solving past year question papers solving at least last 10 years of question papers because of the 90 questions you will 
if you are lucky enough you will get five questions or three questions exactly same of from the last 10 year question paper which will benefit you a lot and there can be a bonus question which if you have attempted and it has two right answers so this will also have a upper hand for you now we'll talk about the biology syllabus so it consists of zoology and botany so zoology and botany so overall you have to see what part you have to focus on see there are 38 to 40 chapters so you can't read all the chapters in last minute so there are some important chapters which we have to check upon so like first we'll start with botany chapters like morphology of flowering plants see this chapter has 11 to 15 percent weightage from the total botany as we have seen the record or trends in the last few years so most of the questions like of the 45 half of them is for zoo and half is for botany of which two to three questions comes from morphology of flowering plants as it has roots stems leaves flowers inflorescence and then comes the subtype of this chapter anatomy of the flowering plants so in this you have to see the secondary growth part the cortex part the cambium part difference between dicot and monocot stem dicot and monocot root so this part are specifically should be focused from these chapter as it is a very vast chapter and remembering the examples of each part like tuberous root stem modification sub aerial prop root stilt root each and every part and from flowers different family malva ca solana ca so you have to focus on all the examples of each type and the floral diagrams is also you have to focus upon so this is a morphology chapter so the next part you have to focus upon is organism and environment chapter see these are small chapters but they have weightage and questions from past few years are mostly asked from these chapter organisms and environment like natality and mortality the formulas of natality and mortality then the pollutions different type ozone layer depletion chlorofluorocarbon so these are the important parts which they ask mostly and diagrams based questions are important see you have to look all the diagrams based question these are theory based questions only just they put in the form of diagram to confuse you so if your theory is your concepts are clear then you won't be have difficulty in solving diagram based question but of the 45 at least there will be two diagram based questions and here each question is important for us so diagram based question which we can't ignore then then comes reproduction in flowering plants so two questions from this part is also important like the different it can be examples here as well like prot and reap then prot gyne sin and dress, different types of pollinations these are the important field which we have to cover 
and your examples are most important and there can be development of embryo endosperm and parthenogenesis which you should be focused upon in this particular chapter then come cell division different phases of cell division which you have to focus upon and various enzymes used and what type of changes which takes place in cell division which is the mainstream of focus we have to do all the different phases like tachytene, zygotene, diplotene, diakinesis, synapses, all that part and the number and the one question is mostly repeated like the number of cell formed after so and so mitotic or meiotic division which is the mainstream of focus you should know how to solve that type of questions then comes the diversity of organisms which includes binomial nomenclature and the classification of different kingdom like there are five kingdoms kingdom monera protista fungi plantae animalia so this diversity of organism it is very vast and you have to remember the examples of each type most of them forget the characteristics of different like in kingdom animalia there are different phyla so from among different phylum they ask the difference in characteristics which of the characteristics of this phyla or this phyla the animal belongs to which phyla so you have to know the characteristics along with examples of each phylum chordates non chordates plantae which is classified into cryptogamy and phanerogamy and further into angiosperm gymnosperm and algae bryophyte pteridophyte so examples is very important then monera all the bacteria protista diatens dinoflagellates you have to remember the examples and what are the synonyms of diatens which is golden algae etc so this is the focused on botany part which you have to see for the weightages of the chapter according to the trends among the last years now comes the zoology part of the total botany and zoology in biology zoo consists of 52 to 54 percent of the questions and botany consists of 48 to 46 percent of the questions so zoology is the main part which you have to focus upon so in this as we have seen among the past few year question papers the questions which we are being repeated from the chapters are like reproduction in human beings reproductive health care so in reproduction first of all you should see upon the different reproductive organs of male as well as female after this you have to focus upon gametogenesis see reproduction is important in both the part like botany and zoo both of them see gametogenesis then comes the fertilization after fertilization the embryogenesis is the important part blastulation cleavage and gastrulation you should focus upon so this is the part of the reproduction or the main area which you have to see upon and the reproductive care like different types of sterilization and OCDs like oral contraceptive devices and IUCD intrauterine contraceptive devices examples which you have to check upon then comes the organism and environment 
और इको सिस्टम द पिरामिड्स एंड डिफरेंट एग्जाम्पल्स और डिफरेंट एरिया आर्बोरियल टेरिस्ट्रियल वेयर द एनिमल्स लिव सक्सेशन विच वी हैव टू सी इन दिस पार्ट द क्वेश्चन आर मोस्टली रिपीटिंग फ्रॉम द लास्ट फ्यू ईयर्स इन दिस पार्ट एंड देन द मेन फोकस ऑन द चैप्टर इज कंट्रोल एंड कोऑर्डिनेशन सी कंट्रोल एंड कोऑर्डिनेशन इज अ वेरी वास्ट चैप्टर इन विच देर इज न्यूरल कंट्रोल एंड केमिकल कंट्रोल इन न्यूरल कंट्रोल यू हैव टू फोकस अपॉन द डिफरेंट पार्ट्स एंड स्ट्रक्चर्स ऑफ द सी एन एस दैट इज ब्रेन एंड स्पाइनल कॉर्ड एंड वॉट आर द डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ द ब्रेन एंड वॉट आर द नेम्स और सिनोनियम्स ऑफ डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ द ब्रेन एंड स्पाइनल कॉर्ड द सी एस एफ एंड द मैनेजेस विच वी हैव टू सी द रिफ्लैक्स एक्शन and then comes the chemical part in which there are various hormones the part of the pituitary is also an important concept in which you have to study the anatomy blood supply physiology of pituitary gland then the hypothalamus different hormones secreted by them and what are the deficiency and increase in content of the hormone causes the diseases in each part and the last part which you have to focus upon in biology is chromosomal basis of inheritance or genetics all the ratios in the genetics various diseases the neo mentalism incomplete dominance co dominance sickle cell anemia down syndrome turner syndrome which are the main focused field in this part in zoology so these are the overall trends questions which will benefit you in appearing biology exam see you have to read the textbook highlight the important parts with a marker or highlighter which will help you in last minute revision in last minute you can't read the whole textbook so you have to highlight the important words the examples so that you should be in a position where you can revise the whole biology textbook ncrt in one hour before the exam we'll study about biotechnology process and application so biotechnology is a branch of biology which deals with the technique of using live organisms enzymes or biological process to produce product for human welfare so the dna produced through this is r dna technology or recombinant dna technology which is also known as hybrid dna which was given by stanley cohen and boyer r dna is also known as chimeric dna so the tools used for dna technology are enzymes which are exonucleases endonucleases dna ligase which joins the dna and dna polymerase and reverse transcriptase and the other thing which we need is the cloning vector which can be e coli plasmid bacteriophage so modes of transfer of chimeric vector into the host cell which can be transformation transfer in bacterial cell transfection in which a direct gene into the host cell and the third concept is of transduction that is transfer of dna material through a phage or virus so it is transduction 
Steps in RDNA technology is isolation of the desired gene, cleavage at the specific point, screening of the fragment, selection, insertion of the desired gene and multiplication. these are steps so dna ligase is the enzyme which is used the cloning of the dna can be done in vitro via pcr or in vivo using prokaryote or eukaryote so there are concept of transposons which we have to know transposons are dna sequence that move from one place to another which is also known as jumping genes We just have to know that it is of two types re retro transposons and DNA transposons. So they first copy from DNA to RNA by transcription and this carries the cut, paid, cut and paste mechanism for DNA transposons. The plasmid was given by Chang and Cohen and first introduced by Joshua and there is Cosmids which is a hybrid DNA formed by joining the plasmid and lambda phage then there is bacteriophage which is also used for transfer of the genetic material so there are three restriction enzymes one two and 3 of which 2 is used in RDNA technology. So nomenclature of endonuclease the first letter which which is E co R1 which is Escherichia coli strain RY13 the first letter comes from the genus Escherichia coli is species and the RY is the strain 13 okay then comes the other enzyme HEN3 in this it is haemophilus influenza strain rd for multiplication of dna comes the pcr tech link which is polymerase chain reaction or gene amplification which was given by carrie mulis in 1983 so it consists of three steps which is heat denaturation which takes place at 91 degree celsius the second one is annealing for annealing the temperature is decreased to 55 degree celsius and third one is polymerization the temperature for polymerization is 72 degree celsius and TAC polymerase enzyme is used so application of PCR is propagate DNA for constructing DNA libraries DNA libraries of two types cDNA library and genomic library applications of biotechnology what we have benefited with this the genetically modified or transgenic plant which are produced by injecting the transgenic genes one of the example is flavor saver tomato in which the beta galactosidase enzyme is present and then there are bacillus thuringiensis of bt crop or bt crop plant it is a soil bone bacterium the cry gene of bt produces protein which kills the insect lepidopterans so the cry gene is important in Bt crop plants and additionally Bt have developed MAHYCO in collaboration with American company so there are cry 1 cry 2 cry 3 cry 4 proteins for various bacteria and there comes the agrobacterium tumefacian in this we have to remember the bacterium causing the crown 
gall disease which is in dicot plants a ti plasmid or t dna gene is introduced like cry gene is introduced in bt crop and gold golden rice is another example which is increased in vitamin a or beta carotene enhancement in food production so we'll deal with plant breeding tissue culture techniques so plant breeding is to aim to synthesize genetically superior quality of the plants this was taken up by green revolution to increase the quantity of quality of food so it was put forth in 1960 to 1970 it was put by dr norman burlock so he won a nobel prize for this the international center of wheat and maize improvement which is in mexico developed semi dof varieties so wheat production increased to 11 million tons with semi dof varieties like sonalika and kalyan sona these are examples of wheat rice increased to 89.5 millions jaya ratna are different varieties of rice some high yielding varieties of rice are kanti vijaya and padma so these are rice and then comes the sugar cane these all are included in green revolution so sekaram barberi was originally north indian was poor in sugar content and officinarum sekaram officinarum is a sugar cane grown in south india which is high sugar content but better yield also so these were cropped together and high yielding varieties are co205 co419 co represents the coimbatore so millets are also included under green revolution which are small seed edible grains plant breeding for disease resistance pathogens are disease causing organisms pathogens like fungi virus bacteria so list of plant disease caused by usual organisms so viral diseases are tobacco mosaic disease and turnip mosaic disease these are viral diseases bacterial which they ask mostly is black rot of crucifers and the fungal diseases are brown rust of wheat red rot of sugar cane late blight of potato so these are example of various disease caused by various pathogens so methods of breeding for disease resistance plants like himgiri is a variety of wheat which is resistance to hail blight leaf and stripe rust in similar way there is pusha shubra pusha snowball k1 of cauliflower and pusha sada bahar of chilli which is disease resistance to chilli mosaic virus then comes the concept of 
म्यूटेशन ब्रीडिंग हुगो दिवराइज इज द फादर ऑफ म्यूटेशन द एजेंट विच कॉज म्यूटेशन इज नोन एज म्यूटाजेन विच आर एक्स रे बीटा रे गामा रे एंड यू वी रेस द केमिकल म्यूटाजेंस आर इथाइल मीथेन सल्फोनेट और मिथाइल मीथेन सल्फोनेट हाइड्राजीन कोलकाइसिन एंड नाइट्रस एसिड सो शरबती सोनोरा एंड पुसा लर्मा आर द वराइटीज ऑफ व्हीट प्रोड्यूस्ड रेजिस्टेंट टू गामा रेस सिमिलरली इट इज अ कंसेप्ट ऑफ जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग इन विच देर आर जसिज इन कॉटन विच आर रेजिस्टेंस टू मेनी डिजीजेस सो बायो फोर्टिफिकेशन इज अनदर कंसेप्ट विच वील सी सो इन दिस द ब्रीडिंग ऑफ क्रॉप्स विद हायर लेवल ऑफ विटामिन एंड मिनरल्स एंड हायर प्रोटीन्स एंड हेल्थियर फैट इज नोन एज बायो फोर्टिफिकेशन सो मेज हाइब्रिड्स हैज इंक्रीज वराइटी ऑफ अमाइनो एसिड लाइसिन एंड ट्रिप्टोफैन एटलस सिक्सटी सिक्स इज अ हाई प्रोटीन कंटेंट एंड यूज इज as a donor of improving cultivation of wheat so genetic modification there are genetically modified plants like golden rice is genetically modified plant or crop this rice contain gene of evenia soil bacterium and maize or daffodil plant maize or daffodil plant so these genes are responsible for synthesis of enzyme beta carotene in human body it is converted into vitamin a so another concept is of tissue culture so each and every plant cell is capable of giving rise to whole mature plant is suitable nutrient medium is called totipotency the technique of growing plant in liquid or solid medium is known as tissue culture for this we know we need x plant callus microbes in human welfare so microbes there may be algae fungi bacteria protozoa mycoplasma these are different types of microorganisms so we'll study the uses so mycoplasma is a group of prokaryotes which is the smallest cell without cell wall cell without cell wall so we'll see the microbes in household production like first of all food production where it is used so lactobacilli is used in preparation of jalebi and naan doklas then there is bacteria and yeast these are used in preparation of idli carbon dioxide trapped in gluten stored as protein of cereal grains makes duff puffy of species bacillus candida saccharomyces so microbes as a source of food which is single cell protein which are rich in proteins dried microbes these microbes grow on spe- specific substrate which are bacillus subtilis candida saccharomyces 
and algae is the common example chlorella and then there is basidiomycetes these are fungi basidiomycetes which are edible mushrooms and truffles which can be eaten directly supply vitamins then there is microbes in industrial production in industries microbes used first in alcoholic beverages production like beer wine and whiskey second organic acid formation organic acid formation like citric acid and vinegar for which species like as aspergillus rhizopus and acetobacter is used for vitamin c b2 and b12 species like neurospora pseudomonas and aspergillus is used fourth one in antibiotic production like penicillin and erythromycin for which species of streptomyces is used and penicillin fifth the growth of growth hormones like gibberellins which are plant growth hormones 15 different types have been isolated from gibberella fugicurai infected with rice seedling plant the sixth is enzyme production like cellulase pectinase and seventh in dairy product like curd yogurt then comes the concept of microbe used in sewage treatment plant the sewage treatments the waste water generated so necessary to improve organic matter and remove pathogenic forms there are three processes first is primary treatment it is a physical process filtration and sedimentation takes place removal of large floating debris second is the secondary treatment it is a biochemical process where aeration and agitation takes place growth of aerobic microbes flocculation flocks is formed here and reduction in bod that is biological oxygen demand due to consumption of organic matter the third part is tertiary treatment it is an anaerobic sludge digester so it is an anaerobic process settling and sedimentation tanks are used for bacterial flocks growth of anaerobic bacteria digest the bacteria fungi in the sludge they release carbon dioxide h2s and methane gas effluents are released in water bodies then there is use of microbes in biogas production biogas production is a domestic industrial fuel non conventional and renewable source so it contains 50 to 80% of methane 15 to 45% of carbon dioxide other gases and traces so production process the raw material is the plant waste and animal waste it includes first anaerobic digestion which is also known as hydrolysis 
by anaerobic bacteria like Clostridium and Pseudomonas. Conversion of complex insoluble polymer into soluble takes place. Then the second process is acetogenesis or acidogenesis. Conversion of monomers to organic acid. Acetic acid is the main acid formed here. The third process is methanogenesis. Conversion of organic acid that is acetic acid to biogas or methane through methanogenic bacteria like methanococcus or methanobacillus. Advantage of biogas is this cheaper renewable source helps in improving sanitation of the areas eco-friendly ecosystem and environment. So there is ecological niche. The word was given by Grinnell in 1971. Niche is to understand the interaction of the organism in a given habitat. It is divided or it is classified as spatial or habitat niche. It is a physical space. Then comes the tropic niche, which is the functional role of an organism in the habitat. And the third is multidimensional or hypervolumic. or hypervolumic niche which is the position of the environment in the gradient which level they occupy the ecosystem is a system is formed by interaction of living organisms among themselves interaction with the surrounding so the ecosystem structure consists of living or biological and non-living matter living may be autotrophic and heterotrophic autotrophic are producers which may be green plant photosynthetic chemosynthetic or microorganisms and consumers may be macro consumer or micro consumer macro consumer includes herbivores carnivores omnivores micro consumer include decomposers saprophytes Zonation is the term which means horizontal spatial pattern spatial pattern and stratification is the vertical spatial pattern and non-living matter includes abiotic component which are climate organic compound lipid protein and inorganic substance Then there is concept of productivity. It is the rate of production of amount of organic matter accumulated in a unit time. So productivity may be primary productivity, secondary productivity and net productivity. Primary is produced by autotrophs or producers which is further divided into gross and net so gross is the total rate of photosynthesis net is the amount of organic matter stored by green plants secondary include by heterotroph or consumers net is the heterotroph consumers or rate of storage of organic matter this is net primary productivity minus heterotrophic consumption there is a small concept of decomposition 
विच आर कॉज बाय बैक्टीरिया डिकम्पोजर्स और सेप्रोफाइटिक इट हेल्प्स इन रिसाइकलिंग ऑफ न्यूट्रेंस टेक्स प्लेस थ्रू डेट्रीटस फूड चेन द प्रोसेस आर फ्रेगमेंटेशन लीचिंग कैटाबॉलिज्म यूमिफिकेशन एंड मिनरलाइजेशन दिस आर इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेप्स इन डिकम्पोजिशन यूमिफिकेशन इज द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ यूमस विच इज डिकम्पोज ऑर्गेनिक मैटर वाई मिनरलाइजेशन इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ डिग्रेडेशन ऑफ यूमस बाय सम माइक्रोब्स सो देर आर नंबर ऑफ पिरामिड्स पिरामिड्स ऑफ नंबर बायोमास एंड एनर्जी हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट ऑल आर इवर्टेड पिरामिड्स बट द पिरामिड ऑफ बायोमास इन एक्वेटिक इको सिस्टम इज इन्वर्टेड टाइप विच इज मोस्टली आस्ट एज द क्वान्टिटी ऑफ प्राइमरी प्रोड्यूसर दैट इज फ्लाइटो प्लैंगटन जू प्लैंगटन्स आर वेरी लेस एंड टर्शरी कंज्यूमर्स आर मोर एंड देन देर इज एनर्जी फ्लो इन एन इको सिस्टम द क्वान्टिटी ऑफ सोलर एनर्जी ऑफ विच थर्टी फोर परसेंट इज रिफ्लेक्टेड बैक टेन परसेंट इज हेल्ड बाय ओजोन लेयर फिफ्टी सिक्स परसेंट रीचेस अर्थ आउट ऑफ विच पॉइंट जीरो टू परसेंट इज यूटिलाइज फॉर फोटो सिंथिस देर आर टू साइकल्स इन एन इको सिस्टम दिच आर न्यूट्रिय साइकल्स ऑफ विच फर्स्ट इज कार्बन साइकल एंड फॉस्फरस साइकल कार्बन साइकिल इज द चीफ ओशन इज द चीफ रिजर्वायर ऑफ कार्बन रेस्परेशन एंड फोटो सिंथिस आर कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री रिएक्शन लिमिटेशन द फॉसल फ्यूल्स आर इम्पॉर्टेंट स्टोर्स ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एनिमल ऑल्सो स्टोर कार्बन एंड देन देर इज फॉस्फरस साइकिल इट इज अ सिंपल न्यूट्रिय साइकिल नो गेशियस फेस इज द प्लांट अब्स ऑफ फॉस्फेट्स फ्रॉम सॉइल then there is a concept of eutrophication abundance of phosphates in water bodies causes overgrowth of algae which depletes oxygen so excreta of marine birds guano deposits are also rich in phosphorus and then there is ecological succession community is the sum total of population in a given habitat there are climax community and the pioneer community ecological succession has two types primary secondary primary succession open in open bare rock and secondary succession is in abundant crop field the pattern of ecological succession is hydrarch succession which is a hydrosphere example is pool and xerarch succession which is xerosphere seen in desert area or rock origin and evolution of life so in this chapter we'll study about the evolution so in evolution various theories were put forth by many scientists first was there was theory of special creation which was put forth by the father sudres all living being created by supernatural powers or god was put forth by him and the second theory was cosmozoic theory which was put forth by richer the third theory was the theory of spontaneous generation or abiogenesis which was given by aristotle and greek philosophers the fourth theory which was theory of biogenesis which is most ex- accepted one which was put forth by francisco redi 
Spallanzani and Louis Pasteur. So this is the most accepted theory. So disapproved abiogenesis by Reddy. Living organisms are produced from pre-existing life forms are the basic process behind the biogenesis theory. So after this there are various step of origin of life like the earth and the primitive atmosphere came into existence around 4.6 billion years ago. So the first chemical of the earth were water, ammonia and methane. Nitrogen, oxygen and carbon form all these elements. The synthesis of simple organic compounds and then there were formation of complex organic compound. This form a hot dilute soup or primitive broth which was given by Haldane. And the formation of protein molecules was the landmark of origin of life. So remember the protein molecules were the landmark for origin of life. Then there were formation of nucleic acid protobionts. There are proteinoids or microspheres put forth by Sidney Fox. And there was co coercivative theory of operin and microspore theory which was given by Sidney Fox which all supported the evolution and ultimately the Urey and Miller experiment in which methane, ammonia and hydrogen were used in 1s2, 2s2, 2 methane, ammonia and hydrogen so this experiment was supporting the chemical evolution by Urey and Miller then comes the concept of organic evolution first there was the theory of evolution given by Darwin which was uh, rejected by de Vries, Hugo de Vries and he proposed the theory of mutation So after the theory of mutation, there were different concepts like natural selection which was explained by industrial melanism. Using the moth, black moth and the white moth as the example. There were different types of isolating mechanism, the geographical isolation and others which were explained by Darwin. The theory of evolution includes paleontological studies, comparative anatomical studies, embryological and molecular biology so paleontological study is the study of fossils which true witness the most primitive forms of lower deepest layer the fossilization occur in sedimentary rock amber volcanic gases fossils are actual remains molds and cast of three types and there there was the concept of connecting link which connects between intermediate or transitional stage between two organisms indicate evolutionary line so show structure common to both group also known as missing link like Seymouria these are examples which are mostly asked it is an amphibia and reptile connecting link. Similarly, there is ichthyostegia, which is the connecting link 
between fish that is pisces and amphibia and archaeopteryx which is a common example which is connecting link between reptiles and birds huxley said the birds are glorified reptiles the geological time scale has been divided into various eras so there are total 6 era starting from archaeozoic to proto proterozoic paleozoic or paleozoic then comes the mesozoic and cenozoic Cenozoic is the most modern era which includes the quaternary period or tertiary period of which the tertiary periods include pliocene epoch miocene oligocene eocene and paleocene and quaternary stage includes holocene and pleistocene then comes the principle of hardy weinberg the gene frequency remains the same for generation to generation unless disturb factors like mutation random mating or genetic drift so the equilibrium equation given by him was p plus q the whole square equal to 1 or p square plus 2 pq plus q square equal to 1 where p and q are gene frequency p square 2 p q and q square are genotype frequencies if sum total of the gene frequency is 1 then the sum total of the genotype frequency is also 1 origin and evolution of human being which is seen put forth by man's place in nature by thomas huxley and the descent of man by darwin these are the two work which were produced and give the human being evolution so these are explained on the basis of class mammalia order primates suborder anthropoidea and family hominidae so primates are classified as promisai prosimai and anthropoidea prosimai includes lemurs loris and tarsiers anthropoidea includes three classes Siboidia, which in, includes the New World monkey. The second one is Sarcopithe, Sarcopithecoidia, which includes Old World monkey and Hominoidia, which includes apes and men. There are four main stages in human evolution. for ape and man so they are classified as ape stage which get advanced to ape man stage to further to primitive or prehistoric 
man and the last one is modern man so ape stage includes propleopithecus and dryopithecus ape man stage includes ramapithecus keniapithecus australopithecus prehistoric man includes homo habilis homo erectus or java man and pecking man and homo neanderthalus and the modern man include homo sapiens fossils and homo sapiens sapiens we are going to see the chromosomal basis of inheritance and genetic basis of inheritance so these are basically the principles of inheritance and variation so by reproduction and continuity of life perpetuation of species is possible and its characteristics of living organisms so basically the transfer of genetic material and inheritance of character takes place through reproduction so the inheritance laws were put forth by sir gregor johann mendel so we have to remember the birth date of the mendel which is mostly asked in various mcqs which is 22nd july 1822 he was from austria so the there were mendel's experiment which was put forth he considered the pea plant and its seven contrasting characters as we know so the seven contrasting characters in pea plant were the height as the dominant character and the short ones were the recessive so each seven characters has dominant as well as recessive characters so one of these were height then the seed color green and yellow the seed shape the pod color pod shape and the flower positions these were the various characters considered by mendel and further there were three laws of mendel so law of dominance first one was law of dominance this considers the first law in which a cross between the two organisms of pure or any pair of contrasting characters the characters appears which in first generation f1 generation is dominant character is basically we have to understand from law of dominance so this is shown with the help of mono hybrid cross the second law is law of segregation which is also explained on basis of mono hybrid cross so after this law the explanation of law of segregation also includes the incomplete dominance and there is another thing called co dominance so in incomplete dominance you have to remember there are two varieties both of them get blend so if there is red color and white color it blends to form mixed pink it is seen in four o'clock plant which is also known as mirabilis jalapa these are the examples you have to remember and the other example is antirrhinum majus or snapdragon and the ratio you have to remember in incomplete dominance is 1 is to 2 is to 
so in codominants you have to remember it is seen in cattle or roans in which both the contrasting characters get expressed which is red and white and the phenotype and the genotypic ratio will be 1 is to 2 is to 1 of which 1 is red 1 is white and the 2 are roans so, and there is inheritance of two genes in inheritance of two genes there is come into existence the dihybrid cross and there will be a ratio phenotypic and genotypic which we have to remember for dihybrid cross the phenotypic is 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 and for genotypic ratio it is 1 is to 2 is to 2 is to 4 is to 1 is to 2 is to 1 is to 2 is to 1 so both this you have to remember for dihybrid cross where two contrasting characters are considered and then comes the multiple alleles for multiple alleles you have to remember the examples which is seen in human blood group of man it was given by Landstainer which give the ABO blood group and the genes are present on I, A, I, O, I, B, I, O, I, A and I, B. So in total there are three, four blood groups A, B, O and A, B. And the other example which is seen in wings of Drosophila. Drosophila melanogaster is the species in which there are various genotypes seen that is vg plus which is normal wing these are the characters you have to remember important for last minute revision like nitwick is ni vg no is notch vg st is strapped wing and vg is vestigial wing And then comes the another concept of pleiotropism. Pleiotropism, incomplete dominance, co-dominance, all of these are included under neo-mendelism. Everything came after Mendel. So pleiotropy, the example which is seen is sickle cell anemia. So in sickle cell anemia, the there will be only a carrier gene the sickle cell anemic will always die so the this is the genotype of the sickle cell anemic and the ratio is always 2 is to 1 after pleiotropy comes the polygenic inheritance which is the quantitative inheritance so in this there are Two concepts which we have to see is the color of the wheat kernel and human skin color. So in this we have to remember the ratios mostly. This was given by Nelson LA in 1908 and the ratio of phenotype is 1 is to 4 is to 6 is to 4 is to 1. For the wheat kernel and the genes are the dominant one are a a b b c c and the recessive one are a a b b c c and here comes the skin color and this the phenotypic ratio of the skin color is 1 is to 6 is to 15 is to 20 is to 15 is to 6 is to 1 the total is taken from 64 and there are pure black six dominant genes are present for pure black and the pure white is albino so this one is pure black and this one is pure white which is albino and the mulatto is the 20th one which is the mixed or blind one so here completes the genetic basis of inheritance chromosomal inheritance chromosomal inheritance takes place through the transfer of chromosomes so is there any defect which will be studied in this chapter through chromosomes so the first there were chromosomal theory 
which was put forth by Sutton and Bovary. So Sutton and Bovary were the scientists who put forth the theory. The diploid number of somatic cell is 2n, and the haploid number of chromosome in a gametic or genetic cell, which is n. So chromosome, we have to study the structure of the chromosome. For which we have to know the meaning of the word euploidy is the presence of whole set of chromosome in a particular nucleus. So presence of one set of chromosome in a nucleus of gametic cell like sperm, it has haploid n. And number of chromosome in somatic cell, it is 2n diploid. So total there are 46 chromosomes or 23 pairs are present. Chromonemata. is the coil thread like structure of every chromosome it has two arm like structure called chromatids and there are chromomeres present on the structure of chromosome the so structure of chromosome will study the different parts so this is the chromonemata the end part of this is known as telomere and the center part is known as centromere as it goes with the name the center is centromere and is telomere so this part it has small chromomeres attached all over and each part is known as chromonemata and the end piece is known as telomere this is the centromere and there are various secondary constrictions known as this is centromere and various constrictions is known as nuclear nucleolar organizer and the last part is known as satellite which helps in sticking of the two parts of the chromosome Now there are different types of chromosome. The main feature of every chromosome is the presence of centromere. So the different positions of centromere decide the different type of chromosome. So this one is a metacentric when a centromere is at the center. This one is sub metacentric when it is near the center. It is L shaped. This is V shaped. Then comes the acrocentric when the centromere is near the end or tail mostly the y chromosomes are acrocentric these are j shaped chromosomes and then comes the telocentric when the centromere is at the end so x chromosomes are of metacentric and y chromosomes are of acrocentric the human chromosomes there are autosomes and sex chromosomes as well so the phenotype of male is 44 aa plus xy and for female is 44 aa which is autosomes plus xx are sex chromosomes so difference between x and y chromosome is also important there are more number of euchromatin in x chromosome which we can remember and heterochromatin is more in y chromosomes and sex determination in man is the process of determination of sex of the offspring by genetic combination of zygote or embryo after fertilization it is determined by the human male sperm which has heterogametes that is x and y female is homogametic which is x and x so out of 46 chromosome 23 pair 22 are autosomes and one pair is the sex determining chromosomes after which comes the concept of sex determination in birds in which ZZ is male which is homogametic and ZY is ZW is female so in birds it is different female is heterogametic this is sex determination in birds and then comes the sex determination in honeybee So in honeybee the haploid parthogenesis or hap 
अपलो डिप्लॉयडी कंसेप्ट इज यूज सो इन दिस द फीमेल विच इज थर्टी टू विच इज द डिप्लॉयडी ऑफ फीमेल क्रॉसेज विद द मेल विच इज हैप्लॉयड इट हैज सिक्सटीन सो मेल अंडर गो माइटोसिस टू फॉर्म स्पर्म्स and the female undergo meiosis to form ovum with ovum of are of 16 or haploidy so this undergo without fertilization to form a male and this undergo sexual reproduction to form diploid again then comes the concept of x link inherited characters and y linked so x linked are the hemophilia and color blindness which we have to remember these two takes place through criss cross inheritance there is from grandfather to daughter then to grandson and here the y linked characters is seen in hypertrichosis after this we come to the concept of mendelian disorders which include thalassemia it is an autosomal inherited daughter so in which there is alpha n beta globin chain decreased synthesis then comes the chromosomal disorder which includes down down syndrome is trisomy of 21 in which the 21st chromosome has three pair attached so this is trisomy and then come sex link genetic disorders which includes turner's syndrome which is seen in female which has deficient one chromosome so the genotype is 44 a a plus x o and then comes the klein filter syndrome which is seen in males the genotype is 44 a a plus x x y it is seen in male we'll study about gene its nature regulation and expression so mendel was the used the term factor for hereditary material or units so ton and bovary gives the chromosomal theory of inheritance and johansen in 1909 gave the term gene which mendel called factor and fulgin discovered the chromosome contains dna these are the name of scientists which are uh, mostly asked so dna as a genetic material was first experiment by griff in 1928 he used the bacteria diplococcus pneumoniae so it contains s and r strains we have to remember this then comes the every macloid and mccarty the work to determine the biochemical nature of the transforming material the most accepted theory is of harshi and chase experiment the proof that the dna is the genetic material and not the protein using bacteriophage in their experiment the observations were those bacteria which were infected by bacteriophage with radioactive dna are radioactive 
द बैक्टीरिया विच आर इन्फेक्टेड बाई बैक्टीरियो फेच विथ रेडियो एक्टिव प्रोटीन विच आर नॉट रेडियो एक्टिव सो कंक्लूजन शोज दैट डी एन ए इज द बैक्टीरियल सेल इज द जेनेटिक मटीरियल एंड नॉट द प्रोटीन द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ डी एन ए इज डी ऑक्सी राइबोस न्यूक्लिक एसिड सो इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ वन पेंटोस शुगर which can be a ribose sugar or deoxy ribose sugar in case of rna and dna respectively second is the nitrogen base which are purines and pyrimidines so purines are a g and pyrimidines are cytosine uracil and thymine in आर एन ए यूरासिल इन इज प्रेजेंट एंड इन डी एन ए थाइमिन इज प्रेजेंट एंड द थर्ड पार्ट इज द फॉस्फोरिक एसिड इन न्यू दिस थ्री कंसिस ऑफ न्यूक्लियोटाइड एंड इन न्यूक्लियोसाइड्स देर आर ओनली पेंटो शुगर नाइट्रोजनस बेस नो फॉस्फोरिक एसिड इज प्रेजेंट इन न्यूक्लियोसाइड देन कम्स द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ डी एन ए इट इज सेमी कंजर्वेटिव structure which was given by watson and crick it in packing of dna it is seen that it is made up of nucleosomes so nucleosomes are octamers octamers of h2a h2b h3 and h4 so there are two molecules of each of this we have to remember this and then comes the rna which is ribose nucleic acid and this we have to just remember the three types of there are mrna rrna which is ribosomal rna and trna which is transfer rna so rna is of two types actually the genetic and the non genetic after this comes the concept of genetic code so there it is a triplet known as codons which transfer the genetic material so they transfer the genetic information from dna to mrna in the form of codons so there is protein synthesis formation through process first is translation second is transcription and the third is ultimately will lead to the concept of lac operon so we'll see each of this further and there comes the concept of wobel hypothesis in wobel hypothesis which was given by crick in 1966 which has been asked many a times in this there is degeneracy of the genetic code the triplet of nature of the genetic code produce 64 codons of which uaa uag and uga are the start codons and there are 20 different types of amino acids 61 codons are available to code them the three codons of 64 are stop codons or nonsense codon so when this codon comes the protein synthesis is stopped there is the central dogma of protein synthesis put forth by vernon and gram which gave the concept of one gene one enzyme hypothesis to one gene one protein or one polypeptide hypothesis one gene forms one protein or polypeptide hypothesis so dna through transcription forms mrna and from mrna through translation forms protein 
have a reverse transcription takes place from mRNA to DNA which is known as Teminism. So in transcription is the first step in protein synthesis in which DNA molecule produces mRNA. And in translation the synthesis of polypeptide chain according to the genetic information present on mRNA through codons takes place. And then comes the concept of lac operon. It was given by Jacob and Monad. So in lac operon, the negative control of transcription initiation in E. coli takes place. So there are promoter site in lac operon which we have to remember. Promoter site, regulatory site. operator site and the three structural genes are present Z, Y and A which codes for different enzymes. So Z code for galactosidase enzyme, Y codes for permease and A for transacetylase. human health and disease in this particular video we will study about the human health and disease immunity health is a physical mental and social well-being of an individual we have to maintain hygiene for proper health immune system is the system which protects the body from various infections and immunology is the science which deals with study of immunity so immunity is the resistance provided by the body against various pathogens it is classified into innate and acquired innate is further classified into anatomical barrier physiological barrier phagocyto barrier and inflammatory barrier so anatomical barrier includes skin and mucous membrane lining of respiratory and uh, gastrointestinal tract physiological barrier prevents microorganisms by rising body temperature lysosomes or lysozymes they are bacteri bacteriolytic enzymes seen in tears and interferons so interferons they mostly ask it is included in physiological barrier and there comes the phagocytic barrier where cells are released like neutrophils, monocytes, these are phagocytic leukocytes and macrophages. And finally comes the inflammatory barrier, any infection or tissue results in inflammation, reddish response. And then there is acquired immunity, acquired may be active acquired or passive acquired. So active acquired may be naturally active acquired or artificially and passive acquired immunity also divided into natural and artificial. So passive acquired artificial in which the antibodies are injected into the human and artificially acquired active immunity where example is vaccine where highly attenuated toxoid are injected into the body. Cells in specific immune system are lymphocytes which may be T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes. B lymphocytes are responsible for humoral immunity, T lymphocytes are for cell mediated immunity. So B lymphocytes and T lymphocytes which are matured in bone marrow these are matured in thymus. So T cells are further divided into helper T cells, killer or cytotoxic T cells, suppressor T cells 
एंड मेमरी टी सेल्स हेल्पर टी सेल्स हेल्प्स इन प्रोडक्शन ऑफ लिम्फोकाइंस प्रोरिफरेशन ऑफ टी सेल्स इट स्टिमुलेट्स बी सेल्स एज वेल एंट्रैक्शन ऑफ माइक्रोफेज किलर टी सेल्स डिस्ट्रॉय बाय रिलीजिंग परफोरेंस बी लिम्फोसाइड प्रोड्यूस एंटीबॉडीज विच हेल्प्स इन इम्यूनिटी तो एंटीबॉडी आर आई जी डी ए जी एम ई ऑफ विच ई इज मोस्टली सिक्रेट एट द टाइम ऑफ एलर्जी ए इज प्रेजेंट इन कोलोस्ट्रम एम इज द फर्स्ट एंटीबॉडी प्रेजेंट इन द बॉडी functions of antibody is agglutination opsonization and neutralization the structure of anti- antibody includes a y shaped structure in which there is this is the light chain and this is the heavy chain and there is variable region of light chain and heavy chain there is antigen binding site which is known as parato there is disulfide bond present between the chains of the antibody and here the specific antigen is attached epitope is the combining site of the antigen which will form complex with the paratope of the antibody so the site which is comparable with the antibody on antigen is known as epitope which form antigen antibody complex so antigens are the, also present on rbc which determine the blood group of the human which was discovered by carl landsteiner for abo blood group तो एंटीजन ऑन सरफेस ऑफ आर बी सी आर ए बी ए एंड बी इफ देर इज नो एंटीजन प्रेजेंट इट इज ओ ब्लड ग्रुप सिमिलरली द करस्पॉन्डिंग एंटीबॉडी विल बी प्रेजेंट इन प्लाज्मा फॉर ए एंटीजन द करस्पॉन्डिंग एंटीबॉडी इन प्लाज्मा विल बी बी एंड सो ऑन एंड देर इज आर एच फैक्टर विच स्टैंड फॉर रीसेस विच डिटरमाइंस द पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिविटी ऑफ द ब्लड ग्रुप इफ एंटीजन D is present, then there is a positive blood group. If it's not present, is negative blood group. There is a condition known as erythroblastosis fetalis, or a hemolytic disease of newborn, is caused when mother is negative, and the fetus is Rh positive. Then there is various diseases which are pathogenic or parasitic. like amebiasis which is caused by ant amoeba histolytica this is the protozoan disease the second one is malaria which is also a protozoan disease caused by plasmodium which is the four type plasmodium falciparum vivax ovel and malaria third disease is filariasis which is also known as elephantiasis it is caused by wuchereria bancrofti or malai brugia malai or brugia timori it is a parasitic disease the next one is also a parasitic disease which is also known as ascariasis is caused by ascaris lumbricoids next disease is typhoid which is a bacterial disease which was discovered by lewis the next is pneumonia it is also a bacterial disease caused by streptococcus pneumoniae 
टाइफाइड इज कॉज बाय सालमोनेला टाइफी द ओ एंटीजन ब्रिंग्स अबाउट द होस्ट इम्यून रिस्पॉन्स द बैक्टीरियल फ्लैजिले हैज फ्लैजिला हैज एच एंटीजन एंड ओ एंटीजन रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर होस्ट इम्यून रिस्पॉन्स एंड देन देर इज कॉमन कोल्ड विच इज कॉज बाय राइनो वायरस रिंग वॉर्म और डरमेटोफाइसिस इट इज अ फंगल डिजीज कॉज बाय डरमेटोफाइट ट्राइकोफाइट एंड माइक्रोस्पोरम और माइक्रोस्पोरम देन देर इज कैंसर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कैंसर इज कार्सिनोमा which is cancer of cell covering the internal and external parts of the body like lung breast colon the next type is sarcoma which is the cancer of the cells of suppurative tissue like bones lymphoma is the cancer of lymphatic system lymph nodes leukemia is the cancer of blood hence also known as blood cancer and adenoma is the cancer of gland or glandular tissue thyroid pituitary adrenal glands and there is there is aids which is caused by retrovirus there are different types of drugs and alcohol abuse the drugs are opioids common name heroin smack which are derived from poppy plant or papaver somniferum and then there is cannabinoids which is known as marijuana hash which are derived from cannabis sativa the third is coca alkaloid which is derived from erythroxylum coca और एट्रोपा बेलाडोना एंड दतूरा सो दिस फॉर्म कोकेन क्रैक ओपियड्स फॉर्म स्मैक कोकालकलॉइड फॉर्म क्रैक एंड देन देर आर सिडेटिव विच आर बार्बिचुरेट्स एम्फेटामाइंस ड्रग्स विच आर गिवेन which affects cerebrum we'll study about human reproduction so human reproduction may be asexual and sexual the types of asexual reproductions are in which there is asexual basically it is there is no formation and fusion of gamete so the type will be gamule formation it is seen in spongila you have to remember the type of cell which takes part is archaeocyte and amoebocyte so archaeocyte and amoebocyte are the type of cells the second form is budding in which the whole parent cell of parent body takes part it is seen in cilentrata and ascalmens the third part is regeneration then this also the whole body of the adult take part it is seen in planaria the examples are important then there is fission 
विच कैन बी बाइनरी फिजन और लॉन्जिट्यूडनल बाइनरी और ट्रांसवर्स लॉन्जिट्यूडनल एंड मल्टीपल फिजन सो मल्टीपल फिजन इज सीन इन अमीबा ट्रांसवर्स और बाइनरी फिजन इज सीन इन प्रोटेस्टा लाइक प्रोटोजोआ एंड युगलिना लॉन्जिट्यूडनल इज सीन इन पैरामीशियम सो दीज आर एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ ए सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इन सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन टू पेरेंट्स आर इन्वॉल्व देर विल बी फॉर्मेशन एंड फ्यूजन ऑफ गैमेट्स एंड फॉर्मेशन ऑफ जयगोड सो देर आर मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम एंड फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम सो द ऑर्गन ऑफ मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम इज टेस्टिस एंड ऑफ फीमेल the primary organ is ovary gametes are sperms and ova the viability period of sperm is 72 hours for ova is 48 hours and secondary sexual characters are beard mustache low base voice masculine structure so all these are because of aldosterone testosterone and female secondary sexual characters are development of mammary glands high pitch voice feminine characters el- enlarged pelvic the secondary organs sex organs are reproductive duct carrying the gametes like vas deferens epididymis and the reproductive structures receiving the gamete like fallopian tube in female events in sexual reproduction will be gametogenesis which is formation of gametes changes in the female body to support the entry of sperm fertilization embryonic development production of milk and hormone control and coordination so the male reproductive structures what you have to mostly remember is the scrotum is the sac in which the testis lie it is made up of dartos tunic muscle dart and testis it is spermatic cord suspended in the scrotum and the descent failure of testis is known as crypt or kaidism which are disease in which it li- remains in the extra abdominal cavity and the gubernaculum is the band through which testis is attached to the scrotum then there is a reti testis which continues to form vasa efferentia the 15 to 20 reti testis then vasa efferentia goes to form epididymis epididymis is a highly coiled structure it has three part caput corpus and cauda epididymis is 6 meter long which we have to remember then it goes to vasa differentia ultimately to form ejaculatory duct so ejaculatory duct is formed with vasa differentia plus duct from seminal vesicle have to remember this and then urethra and ultimately to the penis accessory glands in male is seminal vesicle which contains citric acid fructose fibrinogen and prostaglandins so cffp second is prostate it contains 20 to 30 lobe at the base of the urinary bladder so prostate is white alkaline fluid which neutralize acidity and prostate fluid facilitates about 30% of the 
secretion and the third part is copper's gland also known as bulbo urethral the secretion is alkaline viscous fluid it neutralizes acidity of the penile urethra and lubricates vagina histology of testes it consists of various seminal vesicles in which there are sperms at the center and cuboidal cells at the periphery in between this cuboidal cells there are large cells which are known as sartori cells or nurse cells these sartori cells helps in maturation of the sperm and in be- between the seminal vesicles there are few interstitial cells these secrete the secondary sexual hormone testosterone female reproductive organ consists of ovary uterus which is the womb in which uh, there is a menstrual cycle takes place there are structures called uh, mesometrium fundus corpus cervix divided uterus so there are fallopian tubes which carries the ovi- ovary ovule to the or egg from ovary to the uterus so fallopian tubes also divided into three parts into infundibulum ampulla is the site of reproduction and cornu or isthmus and then comes the vagina so histology of ovary is that various follicles develop primordial follicles ultimately secondary follicles then finally there is formation of graphian follicles in which lies the egg and is surrounded by a cavity known as antrum and the covering is divided into thicka externa and thicka interna and thicka interna is the part which releases estrogen the menstrual cycle takes place in the uterus it is divided menstrual cycle is the bleeding phase and there are two terms which we have to remember menarche is the onset of menstruation and menopause is the cessation of menstruation which is around 45 years of age and this is around 13 years of age so there are four phases of menstrual cycle the day uh, from first day to fourth day is the menstrual phase then 5 to 13th is the follicular phase 14th day is the ovulatory phase and from 15 to 28th is the luteal or secretory phase gametogenesis is the formation or production of gametes so in this the primordial cell of the sperm which give rise to four spermatozoa in the end and the first meiosis takes place between primary and secondary spermatocyte similarly with the ova one primordial cell give rise to one ovum and three polar body the sperm consists of head neck middle piece and tail of which head is important it contains a nucleus and acrosome so neck contains centrioles the mitochondria is present in the middle piece this is the structure of a human sperm then comes the fertilization which is also known as syngamy after the fertilization there is a development of embryo for post fertilization stages which includes cleavage 16 cleavage device to form a 16 cell structure known as morula then blastula ultimately it forms gastrula 
formation of blastulase blastulation and formation of gastrulase gastrulation and then there is implantation you have to remember the days implantation takes place on 6th to 7th day of fertilization where implantation takes place there is formation of twins which are mono which can be monozygotic which are identical and dizygotic which are non identical twins and the third part is siamese twins which is also known as conjoint twins the post pregnancy in the there in pregnancy there are three trimesters first second and third trimester of 3 months each after pregnancy there is removal of placenta which is the part formed by male uh, the child and the mother placenta helps in nutrition and it releases certain hormone like beta hcg the parturition means expelling of the baby from the mother's uterus at the time of gestation acth releases corticosteroids from the adrenal gland fetus secretes acth and oxytocin stimulates uterine contraction and prostaglandin increases the contraction of the oxytocin which helps in parturition which is known as labor and then comes the reproductive health there are various diseases which are transferred sexually which is known as stds syphilis is the one which is caused by treponema pallidum and the other one is gonorrhea which is caused by neisseria gonorrhea or diplococcus bacteria these both are stds which are transmitted it is uh, treponema is a spirochete bacteria and chancres are seen in syphilis and then there is medical termination of pregnancy which is mtp which is legalized in india since 1971 it is performed if unwanted pregnancy is discontinued and there is ivf few abbreviations which is in, in vitro fertilization when fertilization process is carried out outside the body an embryo is transferred if zygote is transferred it is known as zygote intra fallopian tube transfer or when gametes are transferred it is known as gamete intra fallopian tube transfer organisms and environment so uh, organisms forms the population these are group of individual belonging to the same species within an ecosystem so there are various type of adaptations take place by this population which may be terrestrial which is on land example is man then there is cursorial which is also land seen in cockroaches fossorial in which the animals dig and uh, stays in ditches and holes which is seen in rat and moles then there is arboreal which the animals lives on trees the tree dwelling animals which are monkey desert adaptation which is seen in camels obviously which live in desert and there is aquatic stays in water bodies like fishes and volant or aerial adaptation which the characteristic is flying the sky or tree tops which is seen in birds there are different types of competition in between the organisms staying together which are interference competition exploitation apparent competition intra specific competition and inter specific competition so in these interactions among different organisms 
there is a term known as symbiosis which means living together with biological interaction it is subdivided into three types number one mutualism the two organisms interact with each other and both of them are benefit it is seen in lichen in which algae and fungus remain together and bacteria in the stomach of cattle and mycorrhiza which is plant and fungus relationship the second one is commensalism the example of commensalism is which orchid living on a tree or branches growing at the back barnacles at the back of the whale in this commensalism the one organism is benefit other is neither benefited nor harmed and the third one is parasitism in which one organism is benefited and other is harmed which is known as host this is seen tapeworm flukes protozoa which lives on human blood and human organs like liver there are different types of parasites the one is ectoparasite in which the living on external surface of the body may be blood sucking insect second is endoparasite living inside the body which may be intercellular or intracellular then there is epiparasite also known as hyperparasite where one feeds on the other which in turn feed on the host so hyperparasite like protozoa and there there is example of social parasite the parasite take advantage of the social insect so parasite on ant and termites next is kleptoparasite in which parasite steals food and gathered by host so it is seen in hyena stealing food from tigers the next type is brood parasite where one species depositing egg into the nest of the other it is seen in cuckoo incubates egg in the nest of crow and the next example uh, is of adelpho parasite in which parasite and the host species closely related to each other bonelia viridis which is citrus black haploid eggs are laid in fully developed larvae of their own species which results in formation of male offspring so there are different populations factor responsible for population dynamics which may be natality which is number of birth per year divided by mid year population into 1000 next is mortality which is number of death per year divided by media population into 1000 then there is growth rate the increase in population due to actual number of individuals of added to the population which is natality minus mortality per unit time then there is density of the population is the total number of individuals in a population per unit time migration changes the density immigration and immigration can affect immigration is when uh, reduces the density and immigration increases the density of a population then there is biodiversity conservation iucn classified of species so the type of species number 1 is endangered which is also known as threatened species the example is asiatic wild as silotum nudum
this species whose number is reduced to a critical level or whose habits are adversely affected if not taken care they may become extinct second is vulnerable or depleted species and which the number is greatly reduced in recent time and is continued to be decreasing it is seen in clouded leopard or musk deer the next is rare species the species number are few and restricted to a small geographical area this is great indian bustard or a hawaiian monk seal and the fourth type is inter indeterminate species these species whose number are in danger of extinction but the cause of extinction is not known these are three banded armadillo which is seen in brazil and short eared rabbit and rhinosaurus photosynthesis in plants photosynthesis takes place with the help of green color pigment in the leaves stems of the plants which is chlorophyll so autotrophic nutrition is the mode of nutrition in organism prepare their own food they may be photo autotrophs or chemo autotrophs photo autotrophs use of photosynthesis uh, like diatoms cyanobacteria which have chlorophyll as pigment sulfur purple sulfur and green sulfur bacteria possess photosynthetic pigment and the utilize energy released during chemical reactions synthesize their own food these are known as chemo autotrophs they are nitrifying bacteria sulfur bacteria iron bacteria they do not possess pigment so the history of photosynthesis when van neel was a scientist demonstrate light dependent reaction hydrogen from suitable oxidizable compound reduces carbon dioxide he experimented with purple and green sulfur bacteria utilizing h2s as the source then came robert hill photolysis of water was the hill reaction where oxygen is evolved he used ferric salt serves hydrogen acceptor to reduce to ferrous salt and spinach leaves then came dr anand substance present in chloroplast acting as hydrogen acceptors coenzyme nadp was given by dr anand the site of photosynthesis is chloroplast it has grana or thylakoids in which there is chlorophyll present there are pigments of photosynthesis which are chlorophyll carotenoids and phycobilins chlorophyll is green colored carotenoids is yellowish orange colored phycobilins present in cyanobacteria and red algae so it is blue or red color it is of seven types a b c d e bacterial chlorophyll and bacterial viridin it is of two types carotenes and xanthophylls carotene is orange xanthophyll is yellow orange xanthophyll is yellow it is of two types phycocyanin and phycoerythrin erythrin is red cyanin is blue these are pigments 
so in our uh, reactions chlorophyll a is the main center of uh, reaction where ionization takes place so there are two photosystem ps1 and ps2 ps2 consists of wavelength of light 680 nanometer and ps1 consists of 700 nanometer so ps1 is 700 so there are light dependent reactions and light independent reaction so light dependent reaction which requires light it takes place in granov chloroplast it consists of non cyclic photophosphorylation and cyclic photophosphorylation so here there is photolysis of water in non cyclic photophosphorylation there is chemo osmotic hypothesis chemo osmotic which was given by peter michel which includes proton pump the movement of ion across a selectively permeable membrane due to electrol gradient is known as chemo osmosis it is due to movement of h plus ions then atp synthase enzyme makes atp following proton to pass through the membrane spontaneous movement of proton generates energy which is in the form of atp so there are mechani- mechanism photosynthesis which includes one light reaction which is hills reaction and second is dark reaction which is blackman's reaction in stroma of the chloroplast takes place light independent reaction it is also known as dark reaction there are two pathways c3 or calvin pathway and c4 pathway it was uh, seen in algae experimentally in chlorella and syndesmus colonial form so here traces of isotopes of carbon 14s were used the atmospheric carbon dioxide accepted by phi carbon compound which is rubp to and form first th- three carbon stable compound pga that is phosphoglyceric acid the kelvin cycle involves four important reaction which is carboxylation reduction synthesis of glucose and regeneration of rubp the c3 plants which fix carbon dioxide in kelvin cycle are known as c3 plants this brings a uh, fixed carbon dioxide goes back to the atmosphere and in c4 plants these plants are first stable compound after absorption of carbon dioxide c4 plants examples they are mostly are maize sugarcane jowar amaranthus these are c4 plants and there is concept of photorespiration it is also known as carbon oxidation cycle the enzyme rubp carboxylase oxygenase is concerned so it takes place in three parts first in chloroplast then in peroxisomes and then in mitochondria photorespiration protects c3 plants from photo oxidative damage the special type of anatomy of leaf is shown by c4 plant is known as kranz anatomy it is shown by c4 plants the mesophyll is homogeneous and with vascular bundles surrounded by large bundle sheath cells in kranz anatomy the enzyme concerned for carbon dioxide fixation is pep carboxylase is present in mesophyll chloroplast while rubp carboxylase which is concerned with c3 plants is present in bundle sheath cells 
सो बंडल शीट सेल्स सराउंड्स द वेस्कुलर बंडल ऑफ मिजोफिल्स विच इज होमोजीनियस इन सी फोर पाथवे इज ऑल्सो नोन एज एच एस के पाथवे हैच स्लैग एंड कॉडशेक द रिएक्शन ऑफ टू डिफरेंट टाइप्स मिजोफिल एंड बंडल शीट सो यर द इन सी फोर प्लांट्स द प्राइमरी रिएक्टेंट्स आर पायरोविक एसिड प्लस ए टी पी देर इज अनादर मैकेनिज्म ऑफ कैम्प पाथवे विच इज क्रैसुलेशियन एसिड मेटाबोलिज्म इन कैम्प प्लांट्स टोमेटो रिमेंस ओपन एट नाइट to avoid loss of water through transpiration at night tapa accept carbon dioxide to form oa oxaloacetic acid which is reduced to malic acid thus malic acid gets accumulated so at night malic acid gets accumulated during day the malate is decarboxylated to pyruvate and carbon dioxide is fixed by calvin cycle reproduction in organisms it may be plants or animals so organism can live only a certain period of time life span of period between the birth and death of an organism so they need to reproduce so there are two types of reproduction asexual reproduction which and sexual reproduction so asexual reproduction involves only mitosis and no fusion of gametes and sexual reproduction involved meiosis as well as mitosis which is reductional division and equational division and mitosis as well so there is formation and fusion of gametes in sexual reproduction in asexual reproduction it is seen in amoeba paramecium the cell divides to grow into adult form like binary fission is one of the example which is seen in amoeba and paramecium in yeast there is budding and it is seen in hydra as well in fungi and algae asexual reproductive structures are zoospores which are produced in penicillium it is conoidea and in hydra buds and in sponges gamules are asexual reproductive structures Similarly the terror of Bengal is free floating aquatic weed called water hyacinth vegetatively reproduce and then comes the sexual reproduction in sexual reproduction male and female gametes are formed so gamete fusion takes place to form the zygote most of the organisms whatever may be their nature sexual structure and behavior similar pattern is seen in sexual reproduction there is variation seen in sexual reproduction so there are uh, events like pre fertilization event which is gametogenesis so there is formation of gametes gametogenesis then is gamete transfer fertilization to form zygote and post fertilization events that is embryogenesis and formation of various parts so zygote is formed within the ovule in seed bearing plants zygote develops into an embryo and ovule into a seed in flowering plant reproduction in plants in plants the reproduction may be sexual or asexual first we will study the asexual or vegetative reproduction in plants it is, can be natural method or artificial method artificial method includes cutting grafting budding or micro propagation and natural method includes tuberous root which is seen in sweet potato fasciculated roots which is seen in dahlia then stem tubers 
which is seen in potato rhizome which is seen in ginger bulb which is seen in onion and garlic corn which is seen in amorphophyllus runner cynodon and oxalis stolon mentha which is subaerial modification offset seen in pistia which is also a subaerial modification and sucker seen in chrysanthemum and epiphyllus bud which is seen in bryophyllum so these are asexual reproduction taking place in plant then comes sexual reproduction in plants which includes formation and fusion of gametes so in this we have to remember the structure of female part and the male part of the flower as flower is the main reproductive part the male part is the anther style and or filament and a connective and the female part includes stigma style and ovary the stamen is the male part of the flower so the mature anther has four walls that is epidermis endothecium middle layer and tapetum tapetum is the innermost surrounding the sporogenous tissue it is a nutritive tissue so microsporangium is also known as pollen sac and it is tetralocular it has four locules and there is development of the male gametophyte that is pollen grain is the male gametophyte pollen grain is the male gametophyte which is unicellular uninucleate spherical haploid structure it is double layer known as sporoderm which is exine and entine we have to remember the exine is made up of sporopollenin so it undergo two mitotic division first unequal and second equal division at two different stages of pollination and stage after pollination so stage before pollination there is mitotic division and stage after pollination there is meiosis division this is development of pollen grain it forms two male gametes inside the tube nucleus a generative cell and a tube cell is formed then the female part is the ovule the anatropous ovule the female part is the carpel which includes ovary style and stigma which is already seen it is known as megasporangium and the formation of gamete is known as megasporogenesis so the embryo sac it is seven cell eight nucleate it consists of synergids and a main egg cell and antipodal cells and in the center it consists of secondary or polar nuclei which form primary endospermic nucleus so one of the egg cell comes in contact with the secondary nuclei to form primary endospermic nucleus which is
after applied and first male cell unite with the germ cell to form the embryo which is diploid or the zygote then there is different types of pollination that is transfer of pollen grain from anther to stigma so there is self pollination and cross pollination self pollination includes autogamy gitanogamy so and transfer of pollen grain from one anther to another of the same plant so autogamy is seen in pea plant and gitanogamy in cucurbits cross pollination which is also known as allogamy which is includes xenogamy which is seen in papaya and hybridization which is seen in varieties of cotton so there are various advantages and disadvantages of pollination and there are agents of pollination which are abiotic and biotic so abiotic includes wind and water and biotic include insect birds bat and other animals so when the agent is water this is known as hydrophily it is seen in zostera and valisneria you have to remember the examples which are mostly asked entomophily is with the insect entomophily and it is seen in salvia and jasmine ornithophily is is the pollination by bird it is seen in bignonia and butia caryptolophily the agent is bat it is seen in bahunia and by wind or air it is known as anemophily and it is seen in grass coconut fertilization takes place through mesogamy that is entry of pollen tube inside the ovule through integuments after that comes the kalazogamy as with the games as the name goes the inside the pollen tube inside the ovule through calaza and then comes the chemotactic movements or chemogamy there is secretion of some chemical stimulus which attract them pollen tube after the fertilization there are post fertilization events which include development of endosperm which is of three types number 1 nuclear type second is cellular type and third one is halobial type you have to remember the examples of each type in which it is seen and then comes the development of embryo development of embryo takes place by formation of embryo sac then zygote which divides to form globular then heart shaped embryo and finally horse shoe shaped later there is formation of fruit and seed in post fertilization changes in ovary ovary becomes fruit ovule turns out to form seed integuments form seed coat 
एंड ओवरी वॉल फॉर्म फ्रूट वॉल और पेरिकार्प विच इज डिवाइडेड इंटू एपिकार्प मीजोकार्प एंड एंडोकार्प देन कम्स द कंसेप्ट ऑफ पार्थिनो कार्पी दैट इज डेवलपमेंट ऑफ फ्रूट विदाउट फर्टिलाइजेशन सो पार्थेनो कार्पी इज सीन इन बनाना एंड ग्रेप्स द एग्जाम्पल्स आर इम्पॉर्टेंट ऑफ दिस एंड देन कम्स द एपोमिक्सेस और पॉली एम्ब्रियो एपोमिक्टिक सीड्स आर सीन इन ग्रासेस एंड एस्टेराशिए फैमिली सीड प्रोड्यूस विदाउट फर्टिलाइजेशन पार्थिनो कार्प इज फ्रूट विदाउट सीड एंड दिस आर सीड प्रोड्यूस विदाउट फर्टिलाइजेशन एंड पॉली एम्ब्रो इज सीन इन सिट्रस दैट इज न्यूसेलर सेल प्रोड्यूड इन टू द एम्ब्रियोनिक सेक एंड डेवलप इन टू द एम्ब्रियो इन दिस वीडियो विल स्टडी अबाउट रेस्पिरेशन इन प्लांट्स The plants get energy as well through ATP, which is the source of energy by breaking of chemical bond adenosine triphosphate. The third bond of phosphate is broken to release energy. Nitrogenous base purine, which is adenine, bind to pentose sugar to form adenosine. to form adenosin which bind to 3 phosphate bond to form adenosin triphosphate so the synthesis takes place in mitochondria which is the powerhouse of the cell basically in the crista of the mitochondria there are small structure oxisomes in which there are enzymes for production of atp which is done by etc electron transport chain system so mechanism of aerobic and anaerobic respiration and fermentation there are three types of which the glycolysis is the common step glycolysis is breakdown of glucose to form two molecules of pyruvic acid in the cytoplasm in presence of oxygen pyruvic acid is completely oxidized to form carbon dioxide and water in absence of oxygen pyruvic acid undergo decarboxylation to form ethyl alcohol which is anaerobic in absence of oxygen pyruvate is reduced to lactic acid without decarboxylation here it is with decarboxylation here it is without decarboxylation so lactic acid is accumulated in muscles and bacteria so this is fermentation glycolysis outcome is 2 nadph2 nadh2 and 2 atp are formed in glycolysis and expenditure is of 2 atp and the source occurs in cytoplasm there are two phases preparatory phase and pay off phase it is independent of oxygen and there are 10 steps in glycolysis after glycolysis which is also known as emp pathway the next pathway is of link reaction or acetylation which is a small step occurs in perimitochondrial space it is two steps where removal of carbon dioxide and 2h plus ion takes place only for aerobic organism and it is independent of oxygen so here product is acetyl coa two molecules are formed here there is decarboxylation and oxidation takes place and the product outcome is 2 nadh2 is formed after this there is krebs cycle which is tca cycle tricarboxylic acid or citric acid cycle 
occurs in mitochondrial matrix it is a nine step 10 enzymatic steps are there step wise oxidation and cyclic degradation it happens only in aerobic organisms so various products are formed in 10 steps it includes ferrous ions and manganese ion coenzymes nad plus and fad plus are used there is release of carbon dioxide oxaloacetic acid is regenerated along with coa which undergo acetylation and the outcome product is 6 nadh2 2 fadh2 and 2 atp through gtp so 1 nadh2 1 nadh2 gives 3 atp 1 fadh2 gives 2 atp ultimately there is ets or electron transport chain or respiratory chain or terminal oxidation it is a six step process of decreasing energy level only for aerobes your 3 atp and one water molecule is the product the coenzymes fad fmn nad and coenzyme qnon is used which is ubiquinone outcome is 3 atp of the electron transport chain it is the terminal oxidation process it generates um, energy in the form of atp here cytochrome c1 c a a3 is used ultimately it goes to for water the electrons are transported through this chain so from glycolysis net gain is 2 atp from krebs cycle substrate level 2 atp are formed and by terminal oxidation 10 nadh2 are there which gives 30 atp and 2 fadh2 which gives 4 atp so ultimately total 38 atp's net gain is produced circulation in human beings so circulatory system carries the important function of transport of nutrients and respiratory gases so it consists of plasma and cells plasma is 55% cells is 45% cells of which are rbc wbc erythrocyte leukocyte and thrombocyte which are known as platelets as well so rbc are biconcave in nucleated structure contain hemoglobin so these are rbc wbc are classified into granulocyte and a granulocyte absence of granules so granulocytes are further classified into three eosinophil basophil neutrophil neutrophil number increases in infection eosinophil number increases in allergy a granulocytes consists of lymphocyte and monocyte monocyte is known as scavenger cells and their nucleus is kidney shaped these are the cells of the circulatory system then we come to the organs of the circulatory system heart is the main pumping organ 
it is divided into two atrium for auricle and two ventricles right upper atrium left atrium right ventricle and left ventricle so heart is a hollow muscular structure which contains blood it is derived from mesoderm it is covered by pericardium two types of pericardium fibrous and serous fibrous is outer one serous is inner one this is a heart wall has three layer epicardium myocardium middle one and inner one is endocardium it is a single layer of epithelial cells so this is a external structure left atrium receives oxygenated blood through two pairs of pulmonary so the interventricular circus is present between the two ventricles and interatrial circus is present between two atrium the left atrium receives oxygenated blood from two pairs of pulmonary vein from the right ventricle deoxygenated blood is sent to the lungs through pulmonary trunk and from left ventricle oxygenated blood is passed through entire body through aorta and right atrium receives blood from superior and inferior vena cava the internal structure of the heart it has four chambers as we know two atria two ventricles the right chamber it is divided by tricuspid valve right atrioventricular chamber and left atrioventricular chamber is divided by bicuspid or mitral valve so these are division and left ventricle is thick wall it is just to supply blood to the whole body pulmonary trunk and aorta rises from the right ventricle carrying deoxygenated blood to lungs and pulmonary aorta or systemic aorta has three semilunar valves the pumping action of heart is rhythmic contraction and relaxation the heart rate is 72 times per minute by which it lit uh, it pumps 5 liters of blood the conducting system of heart is modified cardiac muscle through sa node which is the pacemaker of the heart the conducting system consists of sa node to av node atrioventricular bundle and then to bundle of his to purkinje fibers in the ventricles wall of the ventricle so the cardiac cycle of working of the heart so one atrial systole is of 0.1 second and one ventricular systole is of 0.3 second followed by joint diastole of 0.4 second which is known as cardiac cycle one cardiac cycle takes place in about 0.8 second which is heartbeat blood vessels of the heart are arteries veins and capillaries arteries divides to form arterioles which form capillaries capillary joins to form venules and then vein arteries carry oxygenated blood veins carry deoxygenated blood except pulmonary vein and pulmonary artery capillary is very thin permeable wall exchange of gases and nutrients takes place through capillaries the heart beat is 72 time it is the number of beat one systole and one diastole makes one heart beat so 5 liters of blood is pumped when there is increase in heart beat it is known as tachycardia and when it decrease in heart beat it is known as bradycardia pulse is the pressure wave traveling through the arteries after each ventricular contraction the blood related disorder are hypertension 
when the blood pressure increases normal blood pressure is 80 to 120 to 80 mmm of hg when it increases above 120 it is known as hypertension high blood pressure and when it decreases below 180 below 80 it is known as hypotension and there is a coronary artery disease where atherosclerosis is the main problem which is the narrowing of the blood vessels due to deposition of fats and then there is angina pectoris which is the chest pain due to reduction in the blood supply of the cardiac muscle heart failure result of progressive weakening of the heart muscle inferior to pump blood effectively then there is ECG which is electrocardiogram which graphical records the electrical activities of the heart which was discovered by Inthoven in 1903 it has P wave QRS complex and T wave P wave is upward small wave impulse generated by SA node it indicates atrial depolarization causing atrial contraction QRS complex is down large upright triangular it uh, denotes ventricular depolarization causing ventricular contraction and T wave is broad upward wave no new impulse ventricular repolariz repolarization occur in this wave in this particular video we will deal with excretion and osmoregulation in humans so excretion is elimination of metabolic waste product which is carbon dioxide bile pigment nitrogenous waste product through kidney lung and excretory organs so major we will study about the kidney the modes of excretion are amniotelism or ammonotelism which is excretion of ammonia which require excess of water highly toxic and it is seen in aquatic invertebrates or tadpole larva of frogs bony fishes examples are important which we have to remember then the other type is ureotelism ureotelism are animals which secretes urea when ammonia reacts with carbon dioxide it forms urea oxygen less soluble less toxic and it is liquid form so 50 ml of water for 1 gram of urea is required it is seen in terrestrial animal like frog turtle mammals and marine fishes bony fishes above marine fishes and then comes the uricotelic animals which uh, secrete uric acid as their uh, waste product it is less toxic it is thick paste and it is seen in desert type of animals like birds reptiles as well as least amount of water is required for this process and then there is gonotelism or gonotelic animal excreting nitrogenous base guanin in case of gonotelic animal it is seen in arachnids arachnids consists of spider and scorpions or penguins as well so gout is a condition is painful arthritis due to defective metabolism and deposition of uric acid in the joints of bones in man and mammals so human excretory system consists of pair of kidneys pair of ureter a single unpaired urinary bladder and urethra in males or vestibule in female
so kidney are dark colored bean shaped organ the dimensions which mostly asked 10 into 5 into 4 in centimeters so they are retroperitoneal they are covered by peritoneal only on the one side hyalus is a notch on the medial surface of the kidney so hyalus is on medial surface right kidney is slightly lower in position than the left kidney and it consists through 12 thoracic to third lumbar position function of kidney is excretion of nitrogenous waste osmoregulation adjustment of ions so blood supplies through renal artery branch of dorsal aorta so mechanism and formation of urine the glomerular filtration rate GFR is the rate which filtrate is formed it is 125 ml per minute or 180 to 200 liters per day if to remember these values amount of blood passing through glomerulus is 600 to 650 ml urine produced is 1 to 1.5 liters per day Bowman's capsule is the outer parietal and inner visceral layer which is a specialized cell called podocytes these foot like projections lie on endothelial membrane of the capillary of the glomerulus so there are three processes of formation of urine ultrafiltration then selective reabsorption and the third is tubular secretion composition of urine is important consists of yellow color pigment urochrome 95% is water 2.5% is organic substance like urea uric acid and creatinine ADH or antidiuretic hormone is also regulates the urine level which we will see further ADH or antidiuretic hormone also known as vasopressin is secreted by posterior pituitary helps in retention of water and salts more ADH more water is reabsorbed and hence formation of concentrated or hypertensive urine less ADH less in water reabsorbed and thus more dilute urine or hypertonic urine so depending upon water content the hormone ADH automatically regulates and then there is kidney disorders like kidney failure which are two forms acute and chronic acute kidney failure symptoms are oligouria and uh, requires dialysis chronic kidney failure is slow gradual failure long term consequences dialysis is also known as artificial kidney dia means through and lysis means loosening dialyzer is used in patient for chronic renal failure and not for acute dialysis is a holding measure of renal transplant the kidney helps in equilibrium in water and minerals kidney excrete out acid metabolism kidney produces erythropoietin and calcitriol the endocrine function of the kidney so calcitriol and erythropoietin are the two hormones secreted by kidney and there is kidney stones if it is an ureter it is known as ureterolithiasis it is an kidney it is known as renal calculi it is a condition having kidney stones which is known as nephrolithiasis and if it is in urinary tract it is known as urolithiasis
kidney stones may be of calcium oxalate calcium phosphate or struvite produced by urine splitting bacteria or cysteine stones are produced and then there is kidney transplantation and nephritis is also a disease which is also known as bright's disease disease involving renal glomerular conditions like hematuria proteinuria hypertension streptococcal glomerulonephritis is seen in children regulation of function of kidney is by hypothalamus and jga apparatus juxtaglomerular apparatus which helps in osmoregulation through renin enzyme secretion from the kidney and its antagonist is anf anti natriuretic factor which is secreted in opposition to aldosterone so anf is secreted by atrium control and coordination so control and coordination is done by brain and spinal cord the structure and function of brain and spinal cord the these forms the human nervous system so human nervous system is divided into three parts cns central nervous system peripheral nervous system and autonomic nervous system central nervous system comprises of brain and spinal cord peripheral nervous system comprises of cranial nerves and spinal nerves and all the automatic nerves autonomic nerves are classified into autonomic nervous system supplying involuntary organs so the brain and spinal cord are covered by meninges there are three meninges dura mater arachnoid mater and pia mater in a most below dura mater is subdural space and below arachnoid mater is subarachnoid space in which lies csf which is cerebro spinal fluid which is an alkaline fluid about 120 ml in adults absorb shock and protect the brain from mechanical injuries help in supply of oxygen and nutrients so human brain is also known as encephalon the uh, it is well protected in a bony structure called cranium which it is about 1300 to 1400 in weight and 1300 to 1500 in volume cranial capacity so it develops to full size at the age of 6 years so the parts of the brain are forebrain midbrain hindbrain forebrain is known as prosencephalon midbrain is known as mesencephalon and hindbrain is known as rhombencephalon so forebrain is further divided into olfactory lobes known as rhinencephalon cerebrum known as telencephalon and diencephalon which is also known as thalamencephalon midbrain is divided into two parts known as corpora quadrigemina and crura cerebrae hind brain is divided into three parts cerebellum pons and medulla oblongata so the parts of the prosencephalon are olfactory telencephalon cerebrum which comprises of 85% of the brain and has a function of thinking controls voluntary activity memory will power intelligence reasoning emotions thalamus or thalamus diencephalon it consists of epithalamus thalamus and hypothalamus hypothalamus is the floor of the diencephalon which controls releases many hormones releasing factor and inhibiting factor thalami is a uh, controlling the reticular 
activating system epithalamus is the roof which forms the anterior choroid plexus so these are the parts of the forebrain then comes the midbrain which is mesencephalon it consists of corpora cordary gemina it is two pairs of lobes first pair is known as superior colliculi which is associated with controlling or coordination of head movement and second one is inferior colliculi which are two pairs which controls control and coordination of auditory reflexes they relaying center of impulses control muscle tone and then is crura cerebri with a thick band of nerve fiber then comes the hind brain which is known as rhombencephalon the main part is cerebellum which comprises of 11% of the brain which is the second largest which is also known as metencephalon the function is equilibrium posture regulatory center of neuromuscular activities and control voluntary activities it consists of three lobes median vermis and two lateral cerebral hemisphere and the, uh, there is arborvitae tree like structure in the inner white extending into the gray matter of the cerebellum which is metencephalon and then there is pons verula it is the wide bridge between uh, metencephalon and medulla oblongata which is known as myelencephalon it is the posterior most part which continues into spinal cord outer white and inner gray part cranial nerves arises from medulla oblongata it controls involuntary activities heart beat respiration cough sneeze reflexes so these are the functions of the different parts of the brain the cavity of the brain is known as ventricles there are four ventricles first and second are lateral ventricles also known as paraseal between the lateral ventricle and the diaseal there is foramen of monro diaseal is the third ventricle and the fourth ventricle is known as metaseal so between the paraseal and diaseal there is foramen of monro and diaseal opens into the fourth ventricle by aiter or aqueduct of silvius the fourth ventricle is continuous with the central canal of the spinal cord so the first and second ventricle lies in the cerebral hemisphere the third ventricle lies in diencephalon and the fourth ventricle lies in medulla oblongata then comes the spinal cord which is known as myelon it is about 42 cm to 45 cm long 2 cm thick lodged in neuron canal of vertebral column after second lumbar vertebrae it tapers to form conus medullaris it ends in thread like structure called phylum terminale which are thread like structures beyond this there is fibrous horse tail like structure of meninges which is known as corda equina there are two swellings cervical swelling on the spinal cord and there is lower lumbar swelling so cervical plexus supplies the nerves to the hand while lumbar plexus to legs function serve as conduction of nerve impulse and control spinal reflexes peripheral nervous system consists of nerves that is cranial nerves and the spinal nerves so cranial nerves are 12 pairs 
and spinal nerves are 31 pairs so cranial nerves are of three types sensory mixed and motor it name from olfactory which is the first nerve second is optic third nerve is oculomotor fourth is pathetic which is also known as trochlea fifth nerve is trigeminal which has three part ophthalmic maxillary and mandibular sixth nerve is abducens seventh is facial eighth nerve is auditory or vestibulo cochlear ninth nerve is glossopharyngeal tenth nerve is vagus eleventh is spinal accessory and there is twelfth nerve which is hypoglossal of this 5, 7, 9th and 10th are mixed nerve 1, 2, 8 are sensory and rest others are motor nerves and spinal nerve there are cervical, thoracic, lumbar, sacral and coccygeal of which cervical has 8 pairs in the neck thoracic has 12 pair lumbar has 5 sacral has 5 coccygeal is 1 pair of the nerves there are receptors for different stimulus the part of the body that receives stimulus and convert into impulse the types of receptors are exteroreceptors and interoreceptors exteroreceptors are mechanoreceptors in touch cells in skin then thermoreceptors which are also present in skin chemoreceptors which is present on tongue and nasal mucosa stato acoustic which is present in internal ear and fifth one is photoreceptors which is present in retina of the eye and interoreceptors are of three types first is proprioceptors which is present in muscle and joints then there is enteroceptors which are present in visceral organs and baroreceptors which are present in wall of carotid artery measures pressure these are the different types of receptor and sense organs are five as we know nose tongue skin eye and ear eye are a pair of eyes is located in the orbit sockets orbital socket eye is spherical made up of three layers sclera choroid choroid is the middle one outer sclera and inner one is retina so the anterior part is cornea and it has three sub layers of retina ganglion layer ganglion cells bipolar cells and photoreceptor cells photoreceptor cells are of two types rods and cones which uh, re uh, release photosynthetic pigment the photo pigments are rods by rhodopsin and for cones it is iodopsin yeah adopsin other parts of eyes blind spot is the posterior region where rods and cones are absent macula lidia is the yellow pigment spot present on lateral to the blind spot macula lutea which is yellow color lateral to white spot and its central pit is known as fovea which is thinned out portion of retina which is highly packed of cones and it has 
हाइस्ट विजुअल एक्विटी एंड द इंटीरियर पार्ट इज नोन एज इक्वेस चेम्बर एंड पोस्टियर पार्ट इज फिल्ड विथ विट्रस चेम्बर देन देर इज इट कैरी आउट टू इम्पॉर्टेंट सेंसरी फंक्शन हियरिंग एंड मेंटेनेंस ऑफ बॉडी इक्विलिब्रियम इट इज डिवाइड इन टू आउटर और एक्सटर्नल ईयर मिडल एंड इनर ईयर आउटर ईयर पेना एंड एक्सटर्नल ऑडिटरी मियाटस मिडल कंसेंस ऑफ ईयर ऑसिकल्स विच इज मेलियस एनकस and staves staves is the smallest bone in the body and also consists of eustachian tube it is the u tube which connects pharynx to the ear middle ear and there is internal ear which is fluid filled structure called labyrinth consists of two parts outer bony labyrinth and inner membranous labyrinth and it consists of vestibular apparatus cochlea otolith organ these are the parts of the inner ear which helps in maintenance of balance crista ampullaris is the projecting ridge contain hair cells saccular utricular these are parts of the ear which pro- projecting ridge called macula ampulla are the swollen base of the circular canals in this video we'll study about chemical coordination the coordination is by nervous and chemical control chemical control is by hormones hormones are released from hypothalamus pituitary and various glands so endocrine these are known as endocrine glands of which there is pituitary gland thyroid gland which secretes thyroxin adrenal gland और सुप्रानिनल ग्रैंड सीक्रेट्स थ्री हॉर्मोन्स ग्लूकोकॉर्टिकॉइड्स मिनरलोकॉर्टिकॉइड्स एंड एंड्रोजेंस देन देर इज पेनक्रियास पेनक्रियास सीक्रेट्स इंसुलिन ग्लूकागॉन पेंसिलान पेनक्रियास इज अ डुएल स्ट्रक्चर इट हैज डुएल फंक्शन exocrine as well as endocrine exocrine is concerned with secretion of enzymes then there is gonads which controls the secretion of testosterone estrogen progesterone and relaxin hormone secreted by heart is anti natriuretic factor by kidney erythropoietin and calcitriol pituitary is divided into two parts adenohypophysis anterior pituitary and neurohypophysis which is posterior pituitary posterior pituitary secretes two hormones adh or antidiuretic hormone control water balance and blood pressure also known as vasopressin and other is oxytocin which helps in process of childbirth and secretion of milk let down reflex is by oxytocin and adenohypophysis secretes many hormones which are TSH thyroid stimulating hormone regulated by TRF of hypothalamus ACTH adrenocorticotropic hormone which stimulates adrenal gland to secrete corticosteroids MSH melanocyte stimulating hormone growth hormone or somatotropic hormone GnRH which is gonadotropin hormones gonadotropins are FSH follicular stimulating hormone LH luteinizing hormone ICSH interstitial cell stimulating hormones and final hormones of pituitary is LH which is luteotropic hormone or prolactin 
the pituitary gland is divided into adenohypophysis and neurohypophysis adenohypophysis further divided into three part pars distalis pars tuberalis and pars intermedia and neurohypophysis consists of median eminence in fundibulum and pars nervosa so these are parts of the pituitary gland also known as hypophysis which lies in the bony structure known as cella tersica and the cells of the pituitary are classified as in adenohypophysis and neurohypophysis adenohypophysis there are chromophyll and chromophobe chromophylls are acidophylls and basophylls acidophylls secretes growth hormone and lactotropes which secrete luteinizing hormone basophylls these are acidophylls cell secreting growth hormone and lth basophylls secrete thyrotropes which secretes tsh gonadotropes which secrete fsh and lh and corticotropes which secrete acth neurohypophysis has pituitaries and axonic knob or herring bodies these are cells of the pituitary glands so our next endocrine gland is thyroid gland which secretes t3 triiodothyronine t4 which is known as thyroxine and c cells of thyroid secretes thyrocalcitonin disorders of thyroid secretion hypothyroid decreased secretion will leads to cretinism in children and myxedema in adults and hyperthyroid will lead to exophthalmic goiter which is graves disease and thyrocalcitonin is a peptide hormone which is secreted by para follicular cells then there is parathyroid hormone parathyroid gland secretes parathyroid hormone so parathyroid hormone also known as parath hormone it destroys the bone and increases blood calcium level so it is antagonist to thyrocalcitonin then there is adrenal gland which is suprarenal gland it secretes hormones from cortex and medulla so cortex there are divided into three zones so adrenal gland its cortex is divided into three parts zona glomerulosa middle fasciculata and reticularis which secretes three hormone which is mineralocorticoids glucocorticoids and androgens as discussed earlier then medulla it secretes adrenaline which is epinephrine and noradrenaline which is norepinephrine the hyposecretion of uh, adrenal hormones will lead to addison's disease and hypersecretion leads to cushing's disease anatomy of flowering plants so the tissues of the plants are meristematic tissue and permanent tissue 
मेरिस्टोमेट्रिक टिश्यू आर ग्रुप ऑफ कॉमन ओरिजिन एंड कॉमन फंक्शन सो दिस टिश्यू आर मेरिस्टोमेटिक एंड परमानेंट द स्पेशलाइज रीजन ऑफ प्लांट शो एक्टिव सेल डिविजन इज मेरिस्टोमेटिक टिश्यू मेरिस्टम एट इट्स टिप ऑफ द शूट एंड रूट आर अपाइकल मेरिस्टम मेरिस्टम फाउंड इन बिटवीन द मेच्योर टिश्यू इज नोन एज इंटर कैलरी मेरिस्टम एक्जलेरी बर्ड्स आर लेफ्ट बिहाइंड सेल्स ऑफ शूट अपाइकल मेरिस्टम मैं टू प्रोड्यूस ब्रांच ऑफ द फ्लॉर सो अपाइकल एंड इंटर कैलरी मेरिस्टम आर प्राइमरी मेरिस्टम्स सिलेंड्रिकल मेरिस्टम आर फॉर्म एज लैटरल मेरिस्टम सच एज फेसिकुलर वेस्क्यूलर केम्बियम इंटर फेसिकुलर केम्बियम एंड कॉर्क केम्बियम दिस आर कॉल्ड सेकेंडरी मेरिस्टम कॉर्क केम्बियम इंटरफेसिकुलर एंड देन कम्स द परमानेंट टिश्यू दीज आर ग्रुप एज सिंपल परमानेंट टिश्यू एंड कॉम्प्लेक्स टिश्यू सो सेल्स ऑफ परमानेंट टिश्यू सेल्डम डिवाइड ऑल द सेल्स हैव सिमिलर स्ट्रक्चर एंड फंक्शन ऑफ सिंपल टिश्यू परमानेंट टिश्यू हैव डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सेल्स आर कॉल्ड कॉम्प्लेक्स टिश्यू पैरन कायमा इज अ सिंपल लिविंग परमानेंट टिश्यू द शेप मे बी राउंड ओवल आइसोडायमेट्रिक सो दे मे बी विथ और विदाउट इंटरसेल्युलर स्पेसिस द फंक्शन इज स्टोरेज एंड फोटोसिंथेसिस दे हैव क्लोरोप्लास्ट कॉलन कायमा में भी ओवल सो फर्स्ट इज पैरन कायमा देन देर इज कॉलन कायमा दे कंटेन दे मे और मे नॉट कंटेन क्लोरोप्लास्ट एंड देन द लास्ट पार्ट इज स्क्लेरन कायमा स्क्लेरन कायमा इज द थर्ड टाइप ऑफ सिंपल टिश्यू इट इज हाईली लिग्निफाइड पिट्स of either fibers or scleroids they are dead as loose protoplast then comes the complex tissue it consists of xylem and phloem so xylem may be primary or secondary xylem primary xylem is of two types called protoxylem and metaxylem फ्लोएम इज द लिविंग टिश्यू इट कंडक्ट फूड इन एंजियोस्पर्म सीव ट्यूब्स एंड कंपेनियल सेल्स आर एबसेंट इन जिम्नोस्पर्म दीज आर पार्ट ऑफ फ्लोएम सीव ट्यूब्स आर मेड अप ऑफ स्टीव एलिमेंट्स स्टीव एलिमेंट्स आर नॉन न्यूक्लियटेड सेल्स कंपेनियन सेल्स आर स्पिंडल शेप सेल्स दे मेंटेन द प्रेशर ग्रेडियंट सो फ्लोएम पेरन कैम इज एबसेंट इन मोस्ट ऑफ द मोनोकॉट्स नॉट प्रेजेंट इन मोनोकॉट so early form phloem in proto phloem with narrow sieve tubes while later formed as meta phloem with bigger sieve tubes the tissue system may be of epidermal tissue which includes the stomata and there is ground tissue which consists of cortex pericycle pith and medullary rays in the ground tissue leaves it is chlorenchymatous called mesophyll and then there is vascular tissue third type of tissue वैस्क्युलर टिश्यू सिस्टम जायलम बंडल एंड फ्लोएम बंडल मे रिमेन सेपरेट इन द रूट्स इफ जायलम बंडल एंड फ्लोएम आर सेपरेट एंड अरेंज एट डिफरेंट रेडिया इट इज रेडियल अरेंजमेंट इफ कॉन्जॉइंट वैस्क्युलर बंडल फ्लोएम इज ऑन द आउटर साइड फ्लोएम ऑन द आउटर साइड एंड जायलम ऑन द इनर साइड इट इज कॉन्जॉइंट टिश्यू सिस्टम
सो एनाटॉमी ऑफ डाइकॉट एंड मोनोकॉट रूट द आउटर मोस्ट इज एपिडर्मिस मेड अप ऑफ रेक्टेंगुलर पेरेन कायमा इनर इज द सेवरल लेयर ऑफ पेरेन कायमेटस कॉटेक्स द इनर टू द पेरेन कायमेटस इज पेरीसाइकल इट प्रोड्यूस लैटरल रूट्स देन देर इज पिथ विच इज इन इनकन्स्पीशियस कंजक्टिव टिश्यू द डाइकॉट रूट हैज टू और फोर ऑल्टरनेट जाइलम एंड फ्लोइंग स्ट्रैंड सो ऑल द टिश्यू आर इनर टू द एंडोडर्मिस और एंडोडर्म पेरीसाइकल वेस्कुलर बंडल पेथ इन मोनोकॉट रूट ओनली डिफरेंस इज दैट जाइलम एंड फ्लोइंग वेस्कुलर बंडल आर मोर देन सिक्स पॉली आर्च एंड पिथ इज लार्ज इन मोनोकॉट द रूट्स इन जाइलम is exarch that is protoplasm is facing towards the endodermis then there is secondary growth that is formation of cambial ring secondary growth is the growth in which there is lateral cambium formation intrafascicular cambium the cambial ring cut off the tissue towards the to form secondary xylem while secondary phloem is also formed some of the cambium produces radial parenchyma so intrafascicular cambium is formed secondary xylem and phloem are formed there is spring wood and autumn wood cambial activity of many physiological and environmental factors in winter the ability of water and mineral is less so reduces the less amount of wood so this is known as autumn wood which is seen in winter and in temperate region during spring season the cambium is very active in plants thus provide large amount of wood with wide mouth vessels and efficient conduction this is known as spring wood in temperate zone the spring wood and autumn wood come as alternate ring due to climatic influence the spring wood is lighter in color with low density autumn wood is darker with higher density and there is hardwood and sapwood the physiological active peripheral wood which is lighter in color is sap wood the wood is active in conduction of water and minerals and the other one is hard wood digestion and absorption in human beings so digestion is conversion of complex food into simple one which is then absorbed and assimilated in blood and then transported nutrients to other parts of the body so the digestive system consists of alimentary canal which starts from mouth and end of anus so it consists of buccal mouth buccal cavity pharynx esophagus stomach small intestine which is divided into duodenum jejunum ileum and large intestine which is divided into cecum colon rectum and external part is anus so in digestive system the important points which we have to discuss is about the teeth in which there are 32 in number thecodent is the term which means rooted in bony jaw socket and diphedont means erupting in two crop milk and permanent teeth seen in mammals and there is term known as heterodont with different shapes and size of the specific functions so the dental formula is 
इंसाइजर्स आर टू कैनाइन इज वन प्री मोलार इज टू एंड मोलार इज थ्री सिमिलरली डाउन टू एंड मोलार थ्री एंड देर आर वेरियस गैस्ट्रिक ग्लैंड विच प्रोड्यूस गैस्ट्रिक जूस देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ सेल्स इन गैस्ट्रिक ग्लैंड विच आर म्यूकॉइड सिक्रीटिंग सेल्स देन सेकेंड वन इज ऑक्सेंटिक और पराइटल सेल विच सिक्रीट्स एच सी एल एंड द थर्ड वन इज पेप्टिक सेल्स so the physiology of stomach it churns food by muscular action and releases gastric juices the enzymes are pepsin which digest proteins casein in milk and there is renin r e double n i n renin which is released in children lipase with digest fats so these are the gastric enzymes liver is the largest gland which is of two lobed right and left lobe of its major content is of right lobe pancreas is leaf like structure the bile is released from gall bladder it is synthesized in liver it is dark green alkaline bitters fluid which emulsifies the fat the pancreatic juices are alkaline juices which are enzymes include trypsin and chymotrypsin amylase lipase nuclease these are pancreatic enzymes which convert nucleic acid into nucleotide and then nucleoside and the enzymes which are released by intestine is known as succus entericus which are alkaline juice which neutralize the chyme on alkaline side which are dipeptidase maltase dipeptidase converts dipeptide to amino acid maltase maltose to glucose lactase sucrase sucrase converts sucrose to glucose and fructose nucleotidase and nucleosidase and lipase as well these are enzymes then there are sphincters which are a ring like structure present this is a circular ring of smooth muscle at some point of the alimentary canal which regulate the control of passage there is cardiac sphincter pyloric sphincter iliocecal rectal and in pancreatic there there is sphincter of od there are special structures of glands first is brunner's gland which is in duodenum help in digestion and second is crypt of libercon this is present is small intestine typhoid germ settles here in this part we'll deal about biological classification here first of all there was biotaxonomy in which the animal will be named by binomial nomenclature which was given by carl linnaeus so biological classification was done under five kingdom first of by wittaker r h wittaker in 1969 proposed five kingdom of classification these are kingdom monera protista
फंगाए प्लांटे एंड एनिमेलिया सो मोनेरा इंक्लूड्स ऑल द बैक्टीरिया माइकोप्लाज्मा साइनो बैक्टीरिया प्रोटेस्टा इंक्लूड सिंगल सेल यू कैरियॉर्ड्स विच आर क्राइजोफाइट्स डाई एटम्स गोल्डन एलगे आर इंक्लूड इन प्रोटेस्टा और फाइटो प्लैंगटन्स डाई एटम्स आर चीफ प्रोड्यूसर्स इन द ओशन एंड डाइनोफ्लेजलेट्स आर मनी फोटोसिंथेटिक येलो ग्रीन ब्राउन और ब्लू कलर्ड then comes kingdom fungi these are heterotrophs non photosynthetic and then comes kingdom plantae which includes cryptogame and phanerogame cryptogame includes algae bryophyta टेरिडो फाइटा फेनोगैम ए इंक्लूड्स जिम्नोस्पम एंड एनजीओस्पम क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एनिमल्स हैव बीन डन इन डिफरेंट फाइला फर्स्ट इज पॉरीफेरा विच इंक्लूड्स साइकन यू हैव टू रिमेंबर द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ इच एंड स्पॉन्जेस आफ्टर परिफेरा देर इज सिलेंटेरेटा विच इंक्लूड्स सिनेडेरिया फाइसेलिया देन कम्स प्लैटी हेलमेंथिस दीज आर वर्म्स फ्लैट वर्म्स और टेप वर्म टेनिया देन कम एस्कैलमेंस this includes ascaris then comes anilida which has earthworm then arthropoda which includes cockroaches spiders then comes mollusca which includes pila Echinodermata, which includes starfish, and then Hemichordata, which includes Balanoglossus or Sacoglossus. After this comes Chordata, which are divided into Gnatha. Ignatha and Gnathostomata. Which are without jaws and with jaws. So Ignatha includes Eurocordata, Cephalocordata and Vertebrata. so gnathostomata includes two classes which are four feeds first is pisces amphibia then reptiles aves and then comes mammals this is classification of kingdom animalia